You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. Hello, and welcome to Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. I'm Wendy Falk, and I have Eric Carney with me today. How are you, Eric? I'm great, Wendy. Good to see you. Funny I have you with me, and it just happens to be your show, right? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> How'd that happen? You just told me to come over here. And oh, here good, are. good. Here you are. <laughs> well, Eric, let's talk a little bit today on the show about the closer we get to retirement, the more we need to make sure our plan is keeping our money safe. Yeah. So on today's show, we're gonna show some strategies that can help us do just that. Let's break it down. How, how can we keep our strategies safe? I know that you have people into the office all the time and you're helping select their investments. Would that be one way that we can keep things safe? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, the, the first thing to do is create the plan, mm -hmm. right? And we always say, we talk about this time and time again, but it's so true purpose determines placement. Mm -hmm. So once we're determining what the purpose is of that, we can then determine what placement we, we have. Mm -hmm. And when we go to place those investments, we have to think about everything that could possibly go wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of times where we help people connect the dots that they just don't know how to do. Mm -hmm. And so we're realizing that healthcare can come out of left field, you can get sick, long-term care, um, a sick parent, um, even a child, something could happen where you have to financially help that person. Mm -hmm. um, stock market, pullbacks, corrections, downturns, you might get laid off earlier than you expected. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things that we have to do. So we have to build a strategy within those investments that will kind of cater to whatever the markets are gonna give us. Mm -hmm. There's three guarantees in the stock market, Wendy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're guaranteed that the stock market will go up. We're guaranteed that the stock market will go sideways. Mm -hmm. And we're also guaranteed that that stock market will go down. Yes. And so you have to build a portfolio pertaining to that. And this is where a good, solid money manager comes in mm -hmm. and is creating several different streams of income for you that can get you through any kind of difficult market. Mm -hmm. And so what we're trying to do is, we realize that the markets are gonna do exactly what they're supposed to do. They go up, they go down, mm -hmm. they go sideways. And so we have to be prepared for that and create an arsenal of investments to be able to get you all throughout that retirement. Mm -hmm. And again, there's a lot of people out there who don't have that plan. They're just, they're really tired of their advisors not having a focus on their goals and objectives. And they're like, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. I need a change. Mm -hmm. And that's where they're really seeking out more of an independent fiduciary advisor who focuses on financial planning, who focuses on wealth management, who focuses on concierge service, because that's really what they want. Yes. And so the whole focus is really is on the client and their specific needs. And again, Everybody, if you have 10 different people walk in that door, they're all gonna have significantly different needs. I'm gonna have to use different tools, products, and investments completely for you know the first person that walks mm -hmm. in, then the rest of the nine people that walk in. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be prepared for that. And actually, that's what makes it exciting for me because I do feel that we are super capable of handling an affluence client's needs, and that's what we're really prepared for. And that's, and you know, you're talking about having to prepare things differently for different people. Mm -hmm. And that's how, and that's how wonderfully you all work at Retirement Wealth Advisors. You've got Donna doing the financial portion, Autumn's doing the concierge, you're doing the investment portion, and you all work together as a team. Right. And you cater to your clients. Right. And to their needs, and they appreciate that, and that's what makes you different from other advisors. I think so, and what's happening is, is that Donna and the financial planning team are reaching out to their clients about their income plan, mm -hmm. about their financial plan, updating those. We're reaching out to them separately about their investments. Mm -hmm. So they figure now, okay, I do have separate people working on my solution. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a lot of people out there who realize, well, geez, my advisor does my plan. He tries to do income planning. He tries to do the investments. He's trying to call me back. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Mm -hmm. If you really want to service a client, you better have different services and different departments that are serving that client. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, 
you're not doing any justice for that client. You're actually doing them an injustice. I'm not good at everything, right? Donna is significantly more analytic than I am, and so she serves a certain kind of client better than I do. Mm -hmm. um, we get along, but she ends up getting along with them a little bit better. With a different kind of client, I end up working with them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So by having different types of personalities in the office, our clients appreciate what we do on a collaborative basis rather than on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. And so it really does work out very well. And uh, again, I'm very grateful to my staff and I wanna say thank you very much to them because they've done an outstanding job uh, yes. this year as well. Yes, they are a great group of people. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, we've talked a lot about in the past about diversifying. Yeah. You know, we're in a really volatile market right now. So one of the things that you need to create a safe retirement is decrease volatility by diversifying. How right. do you do that for your clients? Well, Wendy, this is where you really get into the nuts and the bolts of investing. And this is why we are really on the forefront of educating our clients. Mm -hmm. When it really gets into the portfolio, you have to look at the ingredients of the portfolio. Mm -hmm and where a lot of people just care about the end result, what's my rate of return, how much money did I make, mm -hmm. what you really have to take a look at is how much risk and how much volatility am I taking? Mm -hmm. And any good money manager is managing that risk and that volatility first. The rate of return is just a byproduct of that risk and volatility. Yes. So a lot of times we're showing the client what their standard deviation is, that's their volatility index. Mm -hmm. We're showing them the sharp ratio, which is actually a rate of return. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is actually reduce the standard deviation. So it, it, when you really think about it, you're reducing the volatility in the portfolio and you're actually getting hopefully a smoother rate of return over time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people that say, I don't want to take on a lot of risk. I don't want a lot of vol volatility, but they don't understand what that is in their portfolio. So when we do the portfolio analysis, either it's the personal financial blueprint or the portfolio recovery strategy, mm -hmm. we're showing them exactly how much risk and volatility is in there. The more transparent we are and we, the more we educate them about their portfolio, the more they learn and they want to learn more and they're mm -hmm. like, Eric, what's this number? And I'm like, glad you asked. And all of a sudden when they start really seeing what, what's going on in their portfolio, mm -hmm. they become interested in it. Yes. And I had a gentleman the other day who was a little bit older and he came into my office and he said, Eric, I'm at my wit's end. I've been through three advisors in the past 10 years and I'm at my wit's end. I just need help. We sat down with him and in 45 minutes, Wendy, and you've seen this plenty of times in my office, he said, Eric, in 45 minutes, you taught me more about my portfolio than I've ever known before. And so the thing is, is that this is what people want. They don't want to be pitched a sales pitch. Mm -hmm. They want to be provided a solution. And we say all the time, where you sold a product or where you provided with a solution, mm -hmm. We're trying to provide them with a solution. That's what people are craving right now. That's what people are wanting right now. Yes. And that's actually what's gonna get them through a very difficult market. So asset allocation seems very simple, mm -hmm. but it's not. It really, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of advisors out there who do not know how to create a true asset allocation. And asset allocation by diversifying that portfolio will help you get through a more difficult market. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. Eric, let's take this time now to open up the phone lines. The number is 1-800-779-1942. Eric, take, tell our first 10 callers mm -hmm. what they will receive if they call in. Yeah, if you're serious about financial planning and you've never had a second opinion, you're in need of a full financial plan, or you're interested in a portfolio recovery strategy, this is a great opportunity for you. We're gonna create a full-blown financial plan review, complimentary, no obligation. This will consist of doing all the reports for you, the fee reports, the Morningstar reports, a tax analysis, maybe a volatility analysis. Let's take a look at this. Let's see where this plan leads you. Let's get you reacquainted with your portfolio, and again, without any obligation. If you're interested in your very own income plan, we'll show you proven strategies and techniques to turbocharge your retirement income. So let's take all the guesswork out of financial planning. Give us a call, no obligation, 1-800-779-1942 to the next 10 callers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, 
Or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Thanks for joining us again on Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. Hi, Eric. How you doing? Good, Wendy. Good to be back. <laughs> Seems like we haven't gone anywhere. Just a short <laughs> break and we're back. I know. Pretty quick. <laughs> it is pretty quick. Eric, let's talk a little bit more about what we were talking about before we went to break. We want to talk about how you know your risk tolerance and yeah. how do you, I'm sure that it's different for everyone that comes into the office. People have, have different like you say, tolerances for risk. Yeah. They have different amounts of money, what they're you know, comfortable maybe losing. You don't want to lose them any money, but that's the market and that's going to happen every once in a while. So how do you help people with that? Well, basically when somebody comes in, again, we take a look at their goals, their needs, their income needs. You know, how much does your lifestyle cost? How are we going to pay for it? Mm -hmm. And then we want to put all that in and get a picture of what their lifestyle looks like. Mm -hmm. That's incredibly important to me. So what I'm trying to do is I'm sitting down with them and saying, look, what does this lifestyle cost? And then all of a sudden we're going to take a look at their risk tolerance. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if it's a couple, the husband might be more aggressive than the wife. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the wife is a little bit more aggressive than the husband. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I would rather know that up front. Right. Sometimes we have to work as a financial referee and we have to sometimes put people on the same page. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is that once we understand what their lifestyle looks like, we start to create an income portfolio for that. Mm -hmm. And we always have to respect their risk tolerance. The interesting thing is, is that it's okay if certain parts of your portfolio all have different risk tolerances mm -hmm. because there's going to be different tools and different products that are used in there. But overall, when you look at the entire portfolio, you're still being respectful of their overall risk tolerance. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get them to be able to achieve what they need in their retirement mm -hmm. while also being respectful of their risk tolerance. The other thing that we see is that in a raging bull market, everyone's aggressive. Everybody wants to be all in stocks, mm -hmm. right? As soon as that turns around, everybody's like, oh, I guess I'm not aggressive anymore. <laughs> so we don't play that game. We say, no matter what the markets are doing, I need to know where your risk tolerance is. And the interesting thing is, is that after the classes and after the radio show, we'll get a phone call and there'll be some people that say, Eric, I have a personal question for you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, what's that, oh, right? Can't wait, right? <laughs> How do you sleep at night? Uh -huh. And that's a, that's a typical question that I get. Uh -huh. And with all of the money that we manage, right? I sleep like a baby. And I think the reason why is because when we put everyone through that financial planning process and we keep updating it and we keep managing it, monitoring it and maintaining it, we still see on a regular basis that they're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, is that as they get older, their risk tolerance changes. Mm -hmm. So every single year we're reevaluating that and it's okay that over time they're getting more conservative. We actually have a plan for that. Mm -hmm. And so we've really been taking into, the, into consideration their risk tolerance and every single year managing that portfolio and making it a little bit more conservative, still staying on track of their goals. 
And that's interesting you say that. That means that they're keep, you're keeping in touch with them and they're keeping in touch with you because their risk tolerance is going to change. Yes. And without an advisor who's going to be there and communicating with them frequently, how are they going to know when their, how are you going to know when their risk tolerance changes or how are they going to know? Right, it's, you're entering into a financial mm -hmm. relationship and the new clients that we've taken on in the past four and five months have come into the office and they're like, Eric, we have no financial relationship with our advisor. I get a lousy birthday card, that's about it. What we're doing is, is that we've really been stepping up to the plate and saying, look, you guys need to have this updated. You mm -hmm. need updated information. This is on you. There's a lot of things going on in the market, but there always will be, Wendy. Mm -hmm. I mean, lately we've had, you know, this whole coronavirus thing, which has been shocking to the whole entire global economy. Mm -hmm. And so now all of a sudden, I sometimes want to sit down with a client and I want to turn off all of that noise. I don't do a lot of social media. I don't watch a lot of news. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is I want to turn off all the noise and I want to sit down with that client and I want to take a look at their personal situation, right? The only benchmark in your retirement, and I've said this many times, the only benchmark in your retirement should be your personal goals. Mm -hmm. Not the S&P 500, not the latest fad, not peer performance, mm -hmm. right? Because when we go off all of what's happening out in social media and what's happening on the news, we are more, we become more reactive instead of proactive. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. Right. I'm sitting down with that client and I'm gonna say, look, there's a lot of stuff going on out there. You're gonna be okay. Right. That's what my clients wanna hear from me. Right. But it's not just me that's telling them that. It's the income plan, it's the financial plan, it's my financial planning team reaching mm -hmm. out to them. You're gonna be okay. It's our concierge service. Your taxes are still being paid. You're still getting your income. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still getting your required minimum distributions, which obviously in 2020 they've been suspended. Mm -hmm. But anything that has to happen, we're reaching out to that client and they wanna know that they're gonna be okay. All right. So we're there for them 24 seven and I sleep like a baby. Well, let's be real about this, that's life. Yeah, mm -hmm. the coronavirus is here, but what's gonna be next? Right. So you have to like stay the course, keep calm, and just trust you as their advisor. I mean, right. they've trusted you with this and you're telling them they're gonna be okay and you've diversified their portfolio, so they are gonna be okay. Right, you know what's interesting about that? You make a good point, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. And if you take a look at all the major things that have happened, they've been significantly different. And you have to think to yourself, what's next? Mm -hmm. Because you had the tech bubble in 99, mm -hmm. then you have 9-11, you've had multiple pullbacks and corrections, and then all of a sudden you had the crash of 2008. Mm -hmm. When you look back at those, it was a tech bubble, a terrorist attack, the real estate meltdown, mm -hmm. whatever that was, right? Mm -hmm. It was a lot of things all in one. Right. And then all of a sudden you had December of 18, which the markets dropped ferociously, mm -hmm. and we still can't pinpoint why they did that. Right. Now all of a sudden you're entering into a no, another medical issue with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So there's always gonna be things that happen to you in retirement. And before this even happened, I told my clients, I told previous clients, I said, look, something's gonna happen, but we're prepared for that. Mm -hmm. And that's why, again, we've, we've, all the work that we've put into this mm -hmm. has come to fruition. It's paid us multiple in dividends mm -hmm. because we've been very proactive with our clients. Mm -hmm. That's what people are seeking out right now. Yes, sir. Eric, let's take some time now to tell the next 10 callers what they could receive from you, if, well, not if, when they call in. Right. <laughs> So if you're one of the next 10 callers, we're gonna give you a great opportunity to get your own financial plan done. This is a $1,500 value. If you're serious about your finances, this is a great opportunity. We're gonna take the next 10 callers who have saved at least $500,000 for retirement. And what this will consist of is, we're gonna run all the reports, the fee report, the Morningstar reports, a tax analysis, maybe do a volatility analysis. Let's see where it takes you. Let's see where that plan leads you. Let's get you reacquainted with your portfolio and again, without any obligation. If you're interested in your very own income plan, we'll show you proven strategies and techniques to turbocharge your retirement income. In short, we'll take all the guesswork out of financial planning, so give us a call right now. We're standing by. Grab a cup of coffee. We'll be right back with more Retirement Talk with Eric Carney. <laughs> what does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? 
questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Thanks for joining us again. Eric, good to be back. Of course, Wendy. Eric, let's open this part of the show up with a question from a viewer. Mm. Is that okay with you? Always out of left field. I love it. I know. You like it, <laughs> don't you? Well, you know, like questions from our viewers and answers from you. That's right. <laughs> Morgan in Punta Gorda Isles says, my current advisor group only invests in stocks and ETFs. My new advisor group only invests in their own products. If I sell off my current advisor holdings, will I incur extra income and pay more income tax on the sell-off. Hang on, I'm not done. This is a, she's got questions with her. Oh, questions. really? <laughs> Morgan really knows how to write a question. I have six account types, two Roth IRAs. You might want to write this. Yeah. One, <laughs> one traditional IRA, one SEP, one SEP IRA, and two regular investment accounts. I'm 57 years old and plan to retire at 62. What do you have to say to Morgan? Um, again, Wendy, you know, Morgan, thanks for the question. I think the biggest thing is, is that you're concentrating on your investments and that's typically what a person does. Mm -hmm. They want to know about their investments. They're hyper focused on their investments. Mm -hmm. The first commitment should be making a complete retirement plan for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the first commitment because again, purpose determines placement. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of advisors out there who again, just wanna take over your accounts, just wanna sign that transfer form. We're doing the income plan, we're doing the financial plan mm -hmm. first. There's no talk about transfer forms. Like I need to see where you are, I need to see where you're going. I need to understand your time frames. Mm -hmm. I, under I need to understand your risk tolerance. The statements are the last thing that I care about. Mm -hmm. But again, people wanna keep shoving them in front of me and like that's the last thing. If I cannot provide you with the retirement lifestyle that you want, then I'm not the advisor for you. Mm -hmm. If you just want me to say, hey, I'll do a better portfolio for you and you just keep guessing every single year, do I have enough money? You're not the advi I'm not the advisor for you. So the bottom line is, is that you keep focusing on the investment part of it, but you're really not asking the right questions about the financial plan and the income plan. Because with all the classes that I've been teaching for the past 10 years, the number one question that everybody wants to know is, I want, I, how do I know that I'm not going to run out of money mm -hmm. in retirement, right? The other thing that she has to say is she's leaving an advisor that's using stocks and exchange traded funds right mm -hmm. now and going to someone who has their own products. Mm -hmm. Huge issue there is proprietary products. Yes. That means that they are more than likely not a fiduciary, do not have to look out for her best interest, and um, may not be a good fit for her. Mm -hmm. So we don't use any proprietary products. We are a fiduciary. Mm -hmm. We have to see you know, what's gonna be the best fit for that client mm -hmm. and then work that into the plan. Right. So again, there's a lot of things going on there. Like I said, I would get a second opinion. I, I always advise people and people have taken my advice quite a bit. I always say talk to three advisors. Yeah. And people are always surprised to say, I'm surprised to hear you say that, Eric. You're not gonna be a fit with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, I've met a lot of great people, but for, for different reasons, I just didn't think that we were a good fit mm -hmm. or they, they didn't think that we're a good fit for us. And we are busier than ever. Mm -hmm. So, but the thing is, is that if I enter into a relationship with that client, I want it to be for life. And we're trying to provide that. 
So I hope, Morgan, that you really are searching out different advisors and really fitting, you know, finding somebody that's a good fit for you. That's important. Well, you kind of touched on a question within the answer to Morgan's question. How do people know they're going to have enough money to retire on? Yeah, that's a good question. So that comes down to the income plan, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll, I'll back up a little bit to that. You know, we do a mutual discovery, Wendy, and in that one, we're asking a lot of questions and people are answering a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they'll say to me, I've never been asked these questions before. Mm -hmm. And that's good because that means that we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. So once we understand the goals, objectives, what's important to you, what you want your money to do for you, what's the purpose of your money, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of people can't answer that. Then what we do is we do an income plan and it's projected all the way up to 100 years old. And you may say, you know what, I'm not gonna live till 100, but I can't tell a 92 year old or a 93 year old, oh, guess what, we didn't plan to 100, so you're running out of money. Too bad, right? We're very fun, <laughs> the further that we get into retirement, mm -hmm. the more financially vulnerable we are. Yes. We realize that we cannot go back to work. Mm -hmm. When my dad was 85 years old, I said to him one day, Dad, what if you have to go back to work? He's like, I don't want to go back to work, and they certainly don't want me back at work, <laughs> right? And so it was funny, too, because my father, he was kind of like, uh, I used him as a test case, almost uh -huh. like a, a guinea pig, uh -huh. you know? And he would constantly be worried about his money. Uh -huh. And he'd call me and be like, hey, Eric, um, how's my money doing? I'm good, Dad, how are you? You know, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he cared more about his money than he did, you know, how I was doing. but. The thing is, is that I saw my father get more financially vulnerable as he entered into retirement. Mm -hmm. I knew that he was okay. I knew that my mom was okay. But in his mind, he was constantly worried about that. Mm -hmm. So in the income plan, we are running all of your streams of income. We're showing you where they come from. We're putting inflation in there mm -hmm. at 3%. And then we're showing you what the portfolio value has to be every single year, mm -hmm. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Mm -hmm. And people say, well, that gets redundant. I'm making a point because what happens is the further that we get into retirement and the older that we get, the more important it is that we know that we're going to be okay in retirement. Eric, let's take this opportunity again to open up the phone lines, 1-800-779-1942. Eric, Please tell our next 10 callers what they can receive from you when they Sure, come. Wendy. If you're looking for a second opinion, if you've never had a full-blown financial plan written before, or you're looking for a portfolio recovery strategy, give us a call. Let's take the next 10 callers who are looking for that financial plan that is missing. This is a great opportunity for you. We're gonna run all the reports, the fee reports, the Morningstar reports, a tax analysis, maybe a fee analysis, let's take a look at everything. If you're interested in income, we'll show you proven strategies and techniques to turbocharge that retirement income. Thanks for joining us. You only retire once. Let's get it right the first time.